Buddha in his first sermon says that there is none in the world like the true Brahmin who is egoless, self-disciplined, knowledgeable and a knower of the Brahm. It is said that a Buddha only takes birth in the Kshatriya or Brahmin Varna. A prejudice that exists in India as well as in the West nowadays, in fact, is mostly borrowed by Westerners from India where it is a very strong political uh, movement to disparage Brahmins and to use the Buddha as a weapon against, against Brahminism, against Hinduism. So there the principle is, and you read 99% of the introductory books on Buddhism, they all start from this paradigm that anything good in Hinduism must have been borrowed from Buddhism. Anything bad in Buddhism must be a contamination from Hinduism. So the basic paradigm is uh, the problem is Hinduism, the solution is Buddhism. Now, in the case of Buddhism, this is really strange. You see, uh, the Buddha called himself Arya all the time. And uh, this was the Arya Dharma and so on, Jainism, same thing. You see, if they wanted to rise up against the Aryans, why say Arya all the time? Also, Arya at that time connoted precisely the Vedas, the Vedic culture. So in Buddhism, you get the idea that, you see, what animated him was the idea to revive Vedic culture that had become decadent here and there. Certainly not that he was rising up against Vedic culture. Not if you go to the real sources. I mean, if you read the modern secondhand books, you might get that impression. But uh, the reality is different. So anyway, they nonetheless managed to make the Buddha into um, some rebel against the vicious invader culture. <laughs> <laughs>